as I'm sure you know, reptiles are cold-blooded, meaning that the animal's body temperature is about the same temperature as their environment that they live in. So what does that mean for reptiles that live in environments that get cold certain times of the year, especially those that spend a good amount of time in the water? That's what I'm going to be sharing in this video, starting with alligators. Typically, alligators are imagined to be basking in the sun by some form of water or lurking in the water itself, which is a pretty accurate image, in most cases anyway. But some alligators live in a place where the weather gets a bit wacky or a sanctuary that's located in a place that gets cold enough for the lakes and ponds to freeze. When this happens, alligators do what is called icing. It's absolutely bizarre. They go underneath the water with their nose sticking out of the water, allowing the water to freeze around their nose. They then go into a type of hibernation. They slow their metabolism to preserve their energy, slow their heart rate from their regular 55 beats per minute to three beats per minute and wait for the water to unfreeze. Absolutely wild and likely a bit terrifying if you stumbled upon this site while walking along the ice. But not quite as terrifying if you stumbled upon the next creatures attempting to survive the cold. Snakes. You can find snakes in the majority of the world. So if they live in places where the winters can be harsh and cold, how do they survive? Well, most go into a form of hibernation called brumation, which doesn't include storing fat like it does with most mammals but instead storing glycogen to help their muscles come out of brumation when needed. Before going into brumation though, they tend to eat less as the weather gets cooler, so they don't waste their energy needed to break down that food while they are in brumation. Then they find a place to hide, like a shed, with sometimes hundreds and even thousands of other snakes. Here they wait until the weather warms up. But if it warms up for even just a couple of days, the snakes will go out and about. But if it gets cold again, they will go back into brumation. Kind of like humans jump at the chance to go outside when the winter weather is beginning to break, knowing it's going to get cold again in just a couple of days. Another reptile you may be wondering about is our shelled reptile, turtles. After all, hiding in their shell isn't going to allow them to survive freezing temperatures. So how do they do it? They stop breathing. Let me explain. Turtles swim down to the bottom of a lake or a pond and don't move. They then proceed to slow their metabolism way down, allowing them to go months without food. But what about oxygen? After all, they do have lungs, so they must need oxygen, right? Correct. However, they survive off of the stored energy and gather oxygen from the water by moving it across their body surfaces that are flush with their blood vessels. And the area with the most blood vessels is their cloaca, which is basically their butt. So they kind of breathe through their butt. So tell me, do you know of any other unique ways that animals hibernate in the wintertime? Let me know in the comments below. See y'all next time.